Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> this is what's known as the end of the line, Nancy. I was hoping to get all three of you down there, but your pal George lucked out. Oh well, gotta be flexible. No, wait, stop! Come on, Dwayne, let's talk. I want to hear more. You know about about how smart you are for coming up with such an incredibly clever plan. <laughs> Sorry, no time. I've got a tide to catch. Hope you're not afraid of the dark. No, fortunately, I'm not. Nancy! Bess! Oh my gosh, I wasn't sure I'd ever see you again. Are you okay? Oh man, am I glad to see you. I mean, I'm not happy you got dumped down here too, but I'm real happy I'm not alone anymore. And now that you are down here, I'm really, really happy because I know you'll be able to get us out. And oh my gosh, you found my bracelet. That is so cool. And I sound like an absolute babbling idiot, don't I? Sort of. Just try to calm down. Are you okay? Well, I'm kind of thirsty, and I'm starving, of course, and until he opened the lid just now, it was getting pretty stuffy in here, but otherwise I'm fine. And I found a way out! Look! <laughs> so first he was Jamaican, then he was Australian, and then we find out he's an American that Nancy has, I'm assuming, put in jail in an uh, earlier game. Uh, I don't recognize that, so it must have been one of the older games. But we have Bess, so that's good. And I think I'll save the game here. Give it a fresh number. Number 12. So I don't think I have anything to feed for the thirst of Bess here. You can open it. Locked doors are your specialty. Uh, say what? Oh, I have a key. <laughs> oh, what is this? Holy cow, what do we got here? El Toro. Or something like that. Who is this guy? Give me that key. Is this El Toro? He's all chained up in here. What does this mean? Oh, look at that. It's a bunch of keys. Did I just not get a bunch of keys? I don't know. How do I even know which one this is for? That was random. So what did that do? Let's go check it out. <sighs> What's with the buttons? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna have to see what I can do there. Obviously this means something. How do I know what to push? I must have to do with the uh, this here. Uh, safe, enter. No, I don't see those symbols here. Let me just step back. I want to go talk to Bess for a split second here. This is neat. Who is this guy? Oh, look, that's a symbol. Is that going to be one of those symbols here? one and then R that one what else is in here that one let's try that one okay there must be more symbols in here did he have a symbol near him doesn't look like it. Uh oh. Oh, what's over here? More symbols. One of those. Okay, there are tons of symbols in here. Can I get the police? Can you believe it? 
For once, I don't want to talk. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Okay, so we've got, I think, five symbols here. So, here we have them. Now we have more symbols. What is this all about? These, this, this needs keys. That key goes there. Oh, I can push buttons now. I don't know. One, two, four, five. Holy treasure! That is a big, giant treasure. So how do I get out of here? That is one elaborate uh, safe, that's for sure. Uh, so, need to figure out how to get out of here. Where's my book? Let's go to the last page. Ah, look. It's all down here. These keys here. Let me see. Let me see, let me see. Uh, bronze is green. Iron rusts red. Cutout plates. If the bottom row has two or more cutout plates, then the. Uh, what? That's gonna take me a bit of deducing, isn't it? <laughs> I guess that's not the right key. Oh well, at least we know what happens when we use the wrong key. Okay, so I did some offline uh, determination. And the if I go back to our guide here, and what I did is I basically walked through all of this stuff here on the right side. And my conclusions are that the plate is not round, the plate is green. The plate has more than two screws. The plate is in the fourth. I think if reverse logic lurk works there. And I think that it's not a cutout. And cutouts are basically one of these five shapes. So that leaves us with this bottom row here. And this has got two screws. We know it's green. This is a cutout. This is two screws. So I think it's this rose here. Now if I could just remember which key is the right key. Oh. Yeah, so that's not right. Ah, it's okay, Nancy. It's funny how you only get one shot at this. Are you kidding me? It's changed its freaking shape. <gasps> okay, wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna load the game. I'm loading the game. I don't want no second chance. Okay. So let's try the other key, this one. Uh -oh. Okay, so now I don't know which key I'm supposed to use. Wow, I can't believe that thing changes. That's insane. I don't want it to change. I just spent all this time figuring this out. The only other one I could think of is this one here. Let's try it. No, that's not it either. I know it's green. I know it has two more than two screws. And I know for a fact it's not round. The other two, I think, are just negatives. So I don't think I can assume they're true. So let's have another look here. So it's green. It's not round, and it has more than four screw more than four screws. So it's not round. 
two screws, two screws, four, but I, I think that's round, two screws, I, the only one I can think of is this one in the bottom left corner. Alright, let's try it. Okay, it's just that I'm using the wrong key. Ugh. Yep. I was using the wrong key. Nancy, you did it! <laughs> Come on, Bess, let's get out of here. Oh, wow. That was tricky, and the fact that it keeps rotating to random... The symbols. plane's coming! George must have gotten the satellite phone to work. Both you guys are amazing! George! Hey, George! <laughs> Not only had George called the float plane company, but she'd contacted the U.S. Coast Guard and the police in Nassau, San Juan, Miami, and Havana. She even called the FBI, but they put her on hold. Anyway, while Bess and George waited for the authorities, I talked the float plane pilot into taking me up so we could search for Dwayne from the air. We soon spotted his boat about three miles from shore and radioed it in. But when they boarded the boat, the police found it empty. Was the boat just a decoy? Did Dwayne meet up with someone and make his getaway in a boat I wouldn't recognize? Or did he, while gloating over the map, accidentally fall overboard and drown? Unfortunately, it doesn't look like anyone will ever know for sure. I, of course, turned the treasure chest Bess and I found over to the authorities. But almost immediately, the Bahamian and Spanish governments were at loggerheads, arguing over which country had the legal right to claim the treasure as theirs. It soon became yet another mystery that may never be solved. As for the Gibsons, they'd been at a week-long family reunion in North Dakota, and were mystified upon their return to find the resort overrun with police, government agents, and reporters. They didn't have a clue what had gone on in their absence. But they were happy about all the publicity Dwayne's escapade had generated, and offered to let Bess, George, and me continue to stay on for a real free vacation. But we all said, no thank you. The only thing that sounded good to any of us after what we'd just been through was good old boring home. <laughs> okay, so here we are for the trivia. Uh, I'm terrible at this trivia. All right, well, there you go. For identifying flying friends, so I didn't do all the bats. Chatterbox, so I didn't talk to George enough. Found the Easter egg. Uh, personal loot. Love of fruit, so I guess I didn't feed the bird enough fruit. Oh, there's no way I was going to do that monkey one. Climbing up and down, so I didn't guess do enough climbing. For seeing all of Cuckoo's tricks? I thought I saw all of Cuckoo's tricks. Hey, look, I actually got the trivia correct. Alright, folks, so what's going to happen here is we're going to get a... I think we're going to get a teaser for the next game. And, of course, we are going to get the credits... Uh, this will do it for now. I won't be speaking any further, but I will say that I will be continuing to play more Nancy Drew, so stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching. Something sinister has been set loose at Waverly Academy. Someone, known only as the Black Cat, is terrorizing students, sending them strange notes, which are always followed by frightening accidents. The only way to unravel the mystery is to go undercover as a transfer student and enter the world of clicks and gossip that rules life at this exclusive all-girls boarding school. Help me uncover Waverly's centuries-old secrets and avoid becoming the Black Cat's next victim by joining me in my next adventure, Warnings at Waverly Academy. <laughs>